Hey guys, Wadok Studios here, and today we're going to be going over um, an issue that's been prevalent since the release of Unreal Engine 5.4. Um, it worked in 5.4 Preview, but essentially since the release of 5.4, each subsequent hot fix has had an issue with dynamic shadow casting. Um, dynamic shadow casting does work, but you essentially have to disable instant stereo. But I wanted to outline here, show that I'm running OpenXR runtime on the Meta Queen, uh, Quest Link um, defaults. Um, in the forum, I went over that I was using Steam Link, but I later did get um, my you know, default uh, Quest Link application updated. Um, to the latest software release and got all of that working, but um, Yeah I'm not gonna make you guys wait through this shaders uh, So I just pause the video here and come back um, Don't get used to that. It's the fastest you'll ever see shaders move especially 10,000 of them, but we'll just create a default virtual reality template um I'm doing this through the headset, so there's like the Oculus view of the screens plus the headset's view of the screens with pass-through, so this is a little disorienting. Um, but yeah, we'll just name this like temp underscore five underscore five. This is likely going to kick off uh, another compilation step since I validated the install and I wanted to do this fresh. So just get ready for that. Um, yeah. We'll likely pause the video here. And once again, I just sent you back to the future, Marty. We're back loading up. This is going to be the default template. Nothing's changed. Um, usually uh, at this state, most people, you know, just hit VR preview and they play. Um, and if you're looking at this from a flat screen without actually being in the headset, nothing's going to appear to be wrong. So if you hit play right now and you just look at it through the default preview window, you're going to be like, oh, I can't reproduce a problem. Everything looks fine. Um, but that's because you're going to have basically shadows coming out of one eye in instant stereo mode. So you'll have nothing projected in the right eye and then you're gonna have shadows projected in the left eye but again since we're in flat you can't really see that right here but I can totally see shadows are missing out of my right eye um, yeah now this is stationary lighting so like if you were to clear the build light out the build the map build data um, or you were to like turn off pre-compute lighting in your world settings and then rebuild anybody who's interested in making a VR game with dynamic shadow casting they're gonna basically have an issue um, you know unless they go and disable instant stereo um, but again you have to be really careful with that as well because you're gonna pay for that the more complex your scene gets, um, it's going to cost a little bit extra. So we'll just run quit here. And let's see if we can go find the, um, the pawn. Because what we can do really quick to show you, even though it's on flat, um, just to kind of flesh this um, reproduction out is uh, we can go set the enumeration like the enum on the spectator view um, 
things have changed quite a bit uh, over time. Um, they used to have like a right eye, a left eye. There's a couple of different modes that we can test. Um, so I'm gonna likely just have to call, toss a couple in here. Um, let's see if they actually have it already. It doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and just toss this node right here. Uh, doesn't look like it's under this. Um, and it doesn't look like we're actually gonna need to get an object to call it from. So let's let's turn off the context sensitive checkbox real quick and we'll just type spectator. Uh, that's not it. Um, there we go. What? No, that's not it. That's an event for the actual spec. That's what we want. And pretty sure the default is single eye, but if it's not set, maybe it's the other eye. Let's see if we can set this to single eye and maybe it'll swap over and give us what we're looking for. Um, Cause all I'm really wanting to do is get this in a place where even though it's flat, you guys can see what I see so that it's a, a solid repo. short for reproduction but yeah it doesn't look like that's gonna give us what we need it is a little bit distorted and looks different now that I'm seeing it on the do the uh, preview and the heads-up display on the oculus screen it looks a little fisheye or something um, it's a bit weird we'll stop this and go back Try. I know there's like a side by side. Wonder if this is even working. Disabled. Yeah, it's working. So we'll just try one of the other modes. Let's do. know what this is gonna do but nope that's not it you would figure the single eye would be the distorted one this one doesn't look as bad or maybe they mean distorted as in they're trying to distort it to correct it that's I don't know it's weird um, maybe naturally it's like a fisheye lens but then you know Oh, that, yeah. Let's go take a look at the config too because I did want to show you guys um, by default for whatever reason the 5.5 preview uh, template tosses these settings um, ray tracing and skin caching into the I and I um, under the render settings here. Um, I'm not seeing them right now. Wait. Is it not? I had to have just passed it up because this is this would be there they are. Yeah. There they are. Um if you switch from forward to deferred uh and you try to use CSM, you're gonna get some wonky behavior. Also if you turn on mobile uh multi view or sorry, turn off mobile multi view, the default is on. Um it's also going to blow the screen out, make it solid white, and it's a really hard. It's a pain to get back, and you need to remove those from the NI config to basically get it from being blown out and get your shaders to recompile correctly. But anyway, um, back to what we were doing. Let's try texture per eye or texture, maybe. Um,
single eye rendered texture. Well, there you go. Shadows in the left side, nothing on the right. So that's probably the easiest way for me to show that this is basically an issue without having to make all of the lights movable, change a lot of product, project settings, etc., etc. Just jump in, hit play, and change the preview mode so you can see in flat. Um, yeah. I'll actually disable instant stereo now so that you guys can see. Um, as soon as we get this disabled, it's going to ask us to restart. We want to save because we want to keep the preview mode there. Um, another 10,000 shaders are going to come up, so I'm likely going to pause the video and not make you guys suffer through that. Voila, we are through compiling shaders. Man, I wish that uh, I could have come back to 10,000 shaders just flying by instantly like that. But yeah, just for the sake of sanity, we're gonna hit play on the preview button here. Now that instant stereo is disabled, and you can see shadows now cast in both eyes. Um, so yeah, the workaround currently for 5.5 preview, if this isn't fixed by release, is going to be disable instant stereo or mobile mode TV. Um, again, you're going to have to be really careful with it. If that's what you choose to do, you could just stay on 5.3. Um, it works with FSR. Um, it cast shadows correctly. Um, I have a video up on YouTube that kind of goes over that, but I've released um, shaders on GitHub to fix the 5.4 issue, and as soon as 5.5 releases, I'll likely do the same. But I want to thank all the Patreon members. I want to thank all of the Discord members. Um, and hopefully this gets over to um, the VR community manager uh, with Epic so that they can, you know, send this over to the engineers to hunt down um until next time guys toodles and happy developing <laughs>